What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mopar Madness. I'm going to um tell y'all why credit is very important, you know? So, I'm 21 years old. My Experian credit score is 747. My TransUnion is 752. My Equifax is 750. Okay? Credit is very, very, very important in today's society. As we all know, credit is very important. It allows you to borrow money that you don't have at that time. It allows you to get mortgages. It allows you to get car loans or any personal loans that you may need or any emergencies that you run into. You can get that money loaned to you. And based on your scoreboard, determine your interest. And the lower the interest, the better, because every month you will pay interest. And, you know, when, let's use the car note, for example. Let's say you want to buy a 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat, but you only have a 720 credit score, right? So let's say you get, do it, you finance for 60 months, 60,000 with 4.5% interest, right? The person that also comes to the dealership has an 800 credit score. He's going to get a lower interest rate and he's going to pay less a month because he has better credit. And I'm going to go more in depth about the interest with the math, etc. Because you have, and if you want to find what your interest would be, you just multiply what you pay a month times the interest. So when I first got my Avenger, I was actually playing, paying $333, right? And I multiplied that times 12, and it was like 23K with 17% interest because I did not have credit. No credit on, on that at all. I got my first car loan through Navy Federal. All service members get approved without credit because they know that you get a bi-weekly paycheck. <laughs> I cannot keep paying it. I refuse to pay $333 for a Dodge Avenger. Refinance my car. Now I pay $258 a month, $129 per paycheck. I have $9,000 left on my car. That is why I did not get the scat pack. I'm going to keep the Dodge Avenger because I invested so much money into it. But that's kind of, you know, that, that'll be a, later for a different video. But I'm talking about credit. Credit is very important. <laughs> so. If you want to, you know, start building your credit, you're not satisfied with what your credit score is. Well, number one, you need to apply for a credit card. Use it for gas, food, small things, and just pay it back. You're not going to get credit if you don't start building your credit. You have to start building. The faster you start, the better it'll be for you in the long run. And don't jack it up. Do not miss a payment. Do not close out too many um, credit cards. Do not um, refinance your car too many times. Only refinance once, that's it. Because whenever I refinance my car, my credit score went down by 40 points, yes. Took me like six months to get back to where I'm at. Six months. Yes, six months. So a lot of y'all probably like, damn, he 21 with a 750. I'm about to be 22. It's only gonna get bigger and better. Like I said, even if I don't get big on YouTube, I still have an excellent credit score. I still have a lot of things to be happy about. Might not get to a million subscribers, but I could probably get to an 800 credit score before I'm 30 years old. No. Only about 5% of Americans get 800. And I'm not bragging. I'm trying to motivate some of y'all. Build your credit, and it requires discipline. Y'all might say, oh, he broke. He got a V6. <laughs> say whatever you want. Because I could get the same car most of these YouTubers got right now. These Hellcats, Scat Packs, Demons. I'm just patient. Most of them get them for like three months. They trade them in for something else. Just, just rolling over and down in their credit. So it look good. The grass look good from the other side when you got that car. But are you actually comfortable with the payments? Are you actually comfortable with the decision that you have made for 60 months or 72 months? Are you actually happy? Can you still buy the things you want to buy? Or is your wife satisfied? Is your girlfriend, boyfriend? So if there's a family supported decision you made, it's a lot of big decisions in car buying. But a lot of people want to think about themselves, and that's the wrong answer. 
Because people that look out for you know if you're making the wrong decision or not. Don't buy nothing that you'll regret buying. Don't buy a car that you'll regret buying. You want to buy a Mustang? If you ain't got enough money for it, hopefully you can get a good loan and be disciplined. You sign your name on that paper, you will suck with that car. Be disciplined. It won't happen overnight, but stay consistent. You want to get that house? Build your credit. You want to get that car? Build your credit. You want to borrow a loan? Build your credit. Credit is very important. I cannot stress this enough. It is very, very, very important, guys. If y'all have any questions or any tips, please um, comment in the um, comment section below. And I'll be back. And this concludes my video.